How can we terraform Venus? Are you a science freak? Then this is surely an episode worth watching. Terragenesis, modifying the solar entity in a way to make it compatible for life to exist, just as on Earth. A way too scientific process that would definitely blow your mind with all those theories and principles related to physics and chemistry. This is Earthy Perks, with a new episode to reveal what it would be all about terraforming the solar entity. Is it possible or not? As we attempt to colonize space, let's just take a venture for colonizing to the neighbor planet, Venus. Believe it or not, Earth and Venus are very similar. At times, Venus is even referred to as Earth's sister planet. They're both roughly the same diameter, have the same mass, same gravity, and are both made out of the same material. Unlike Earth, Venus is extremely hot, has an incredibly dense atmosphere, and toxic fumes on its surface. How can we just terraform it to make it habitable? The two biggest issues that need to be solved are the atmosphere and the temperature on Venus. Currently, the surface of Venus is a sweltering 462 degrees Celsius, 864 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. The atmosphere is made up of mostly carbon dioxide, is 93 times as heavy as Earth's. One proposed way of altering Venus's atmosphere is to bomb it with hydrogen. Hydrogen bombs, when reacting with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, would create graphite and water. This would fall to the planet's surface and cover 80% of it with oceans, but they wouldn't be nearly as deep as Earth's oceans. Venus would only have 10% the amount of water that Earth has. If all went according to plan, the dense carbon dioxide atmosphere would be reduced to being just three times as heavy as Earth's. This would also help clear the clouds of sulfuric acid that hang over the planet. Next comes the temperature. One way to cool the surface is with solar shades. These solar shades could be placed on the surface of the planet or in the atmosphere to reduce radiations. Now we have a suitable atmosphere, a proper temperature, and clean air. But there's one other huge issue that humans might have if they moved to Venus. They'd have extremely long days and nights, since Venus rotates once every 243 Earth days, meaning a day on Venus is 5,800 hours long, meaning that its extremely slow sunrise would happen in the west and sunsets would be in the east. We could create the illusion of a 24-hour day cycle by using massive mirrors and having them rotate to reflect the sun. If all this managed to work correctly, Venus would feel just like home. After all this, Venus would finally be habitable. It could be another place for humans to live. So, here comes in the question. Are you ready to shift to the second home? Let us know in the comment section below. But for now, like us, subscribe us, and yes, share us. And don't forget to hit that bell widget. This is going to make you stay updated with all the freshly brewed content by us. Till the next video, fueling your imaginations and breaking your curiosity, it's Earthy Perks signing off, leaving you to think for this crucial aspect of maintaining the ecosystem.